This is a admin time on the 29th of November 1984 at uh, 16.30 in the Oval Office. Uh, Fitzpatrick on camera right on recorder. Thank you for our research bill in Alaska. Well, and I'm very pleased to present the pen. Well, I'm very pleased to have it. Thank you, Mr. President. I know how important the bill was. And is. Yes, and is. Thank you very much. Happy exactly. holiday season to you. You see, reading Robert's service, I know all about <laughs> the Arctic <laughs> Trail. There you go. And secret tales that would make your blood run. That's right, Mr. President. We're hardy people because we have to. <laughs> Thank you. All right. all right. Happy holidays. Well, Thanks again. Safety. Good to see you. Good to see you. September 21st, 1983, led the rescue of 85 Vietnamese boat people that were lost in the South China Sea. They've already received the Nansen Medal, that is the highest international recognition for those who help refugees. And I want to take this opportunity to express my appreciation to Captain Hiller and Seaman Cass and to Ray on behalf of all of Americans for the courage that they've shown. Their actions and the very appropriate honor of the Nansen Medal symbolize the commitment we all have to help refugees throughout the world. And it's my pleasure to present a check in the amount of $650,000 to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees for the Rescue at Sea and the Ships Compensation Program. The United States remains committed to combat the terrible threat of pirate attacks on refugee boats in the South China Sea. The governments of the region, particularly Malaysia and Thailand, are in the front lines of this effort. And last April, I had the privilege of discussing this important issue with the Prime Minister of Thailand. The effort to protect refugees has our full support. The United States supports the orderly departure program from Vietnam, a safe alternative to the hazards of flight by sea, and we're expanding this program. First, we've called for the release of all Asian American children from Vietnam, and second, we've made a commitment to accept the prisoners held in so-called re-education camps. We want to do what we can to help those people secure their freedom. Our goal is the departure of 10,000 prisoners and close family members over the next two years. And we hope the Vietnamese authorities will respond positively to these appeals. So let me again 
emphasize our support for refugee programs throughout the world and reaffirm our commitment to continue the American tradition of offering refuge and assistance. I thank all of you who had a part in this and bless you all. And I met two people and I think you're the one that, are you the Ms. one? Capella. <laughs> <laughs> Capella gets the check. Yeah. All right. <coughs>